In this video, I'll show you how to solve the Alex problem called understanding that no reaction goes to 100% completion. In this problem, you'll be given a chemical equation and then you'll be asked two separate unrelated questions about that chemical equation. Before we get started, I wanna point out a unit that's being used in this problem that you might not be familiar with, the millimole, M-M-O-L. The millimole um, is just using the, uh, the metric prefix milli, the same way we would use, say, milliliter or millimeter. A millimole is 10 to the minus third mole. It's just a useful prefix when we have a really small quantity. I'm gonna rewrite this chemical reaction over here on the side just so that I have a little bit more space to work with this. So in this first scenario, it's telling us that we are having adding 160 millimoles of NOCl. So I'm gonna make a note of that right there. And it's being added to an empty flask. So that means that we don't have any products at all. We're just adding 160 millimoles of NOCl. And it wants us to figure out how much NO we're gonna make, how much NO will be present at equilibrium. Well, because this is in equilibrium, I don't like that forward arrow. We really should be using the equilibrium arrows here for this reaction. Because the reaction is in equilibrium, I know that some of this 160 millimoles will react and some of it will be converted into NO and Cl, but not all of it, just some of it. And that's what the equilibrium means. So I know that I'm going to have some amount of NO, in which case it doesn't make sense to say none. We'll just cross that answer out because again, some of this NOCl will react. There will be some amount over here that will be more than zero. And that's also the case for the CL, even though it's not asking us about that. Not all of the 160 uh, millimoles will react. Some of it will be le left over. So there's gonna be less than 160 because again, because this reaction is not gonna go 100% to completion, meaning that we'll have some NOCl, just not the full 160. So it looks like the best choice here is some, but less than 160. Not 160 millimoles, this would not be an appropriate answer because that would mean that this reaction just goes from left to right without any back reaction taking place. So we know that that's not the case. More than 160 doesn't even make sense because these two substances react in a one-to-one -one ratio. So the maximum amount of this that we could make in any situation would be 160. So that doesn't make sense either. All right, we've got a second scenario to look at. This is using the same equation. So I'm gonna write the equation again, NOCl in equilibrium with NO and Cl. And this time it says that we have 140 millimoles of NO and 140 millimoles of Cl and in an empty flask, which means we're starting with zero NOCl. And it wants us to figure out how much NOCl we're gonna have. Well, again, we know that we're gonna make some, so get rid of that none option. Um, we know that some of this 140 will react. So this is gonna be, this whatever this number is, it's going to be more than zero. We'll have some present, but not all 140 millimoles will react. So it's going to be some number less than 140. It won't be exactly 140, because that would mean that the reaction goes only from the right to the left without any back reaction, or I guess forward in this case. Um, and, and then again, of course, we can't make more than 140. That would be violating the law of conservation of mass. 